Hey guys, this is Clara and I have something big to share with you today. The things you are seeing on screen right now are <laughs> they're my most recent discovery. 1930s watercolors that I have found completely by chance and I just thought, well, this has to be some sort of a sign from above or, <laughs> or whatever. Um, I just need to take care of these. I need to I need to do something, you know. They just spoke to me. It was like the most insane thing, one once in a lifetime kind of thing. And I I just had to get them because I knew that this would be something that I would dedicate my time to for for well I, I think this is this is years actually um, so I want to share these with the world I want to discover their history they're kind of mysterious at the moment I don't really know much about them and I am making this video to tell you a little bit about this discovery and and what it means to me and what I want to do with it and to share the process because I've already kind of got it so <laughs> here is me starting with the process which is basically just sorting through them you know this is something that you you have to do like I want to share these paints these historical paints that are 80 years old with people all around the world. I want to give them the historical value of these paints. I also want to tell them the story of these paints, of which I, I know just a little bit. I know from uh, the people that I bought them from that uh, their family had a small convenience store in Krakow, Poland, and well, it was the 1930s and they just bought lots of these paints to sell off, I guess, I don't know, maybe piece by piece or something. And then then the war broke out, you know, the Second World War, 1939. Oh my gosh, that was... Ugh, I, I can't even imagine what that was like. So they had to hide their stock and they hid it in the attic of a home that their family lived in and that's basically where these paints spent the last 80 years. The lady that I spoke with who, who sold me these paints told me that she was trying to find buyers among artists throughout the years because she, she knew about these paints being there. She knew about them, she wanted to do something about them and well she just no no one was interested no one was interested you know for this whole huge chunk of time so in the end she decided to list them online and that is when I found them and I just I, I was just like what what is this? Like, how is that even possible? This is the find of the year, if not of the decade. It's like, it's insane. Like, like you've seen it in, in the beginning of this video. There are thousands of them. Uh, I think we've got about 24, 27 colors. I'm still not sure. I'm still sorting through them. As And as you can see right now on screen, uh, this is a process that takes time because I have to actually really handle each and every one of them like I'm doing right here. I have to decide if they're salvageable if it's worth my time and effort to actually clean them because I'm going to have to clean each and every one so that they are presentable so that they are usable basically so that you can paint with them because oh my god these 
these are just traveled through time and space you know from from the 1930s up to 2020 and and uh, I, I have a hard time putting that emotion into words but it's it's just it just grips at my heart every time I think about all the things that had to happen for these paints to reach me and to to be here with me and sure this is going to be a huge work but I'm just I feel like I'm honored to have found them and to be able to bring them to the world like I don't even like okay I, I did a the tiniest bit of research I asked people on my Instagram account if they would be interested in a set of these paints and the response was overwhelming I was really surprised that so many people were just curious about them they they said that they won't would love a set or two and that is such a huge motivation for me you know to to work with them to make sure that I am giving the best res representation of them to the people that that may love them, you know. This is this is I think this is a huge experiment. I'm not personally well versed <laughs> in watercolors. Like I actually only started being interested in this medium about two months ago so this is new to me I don't really know much about the technique or whatever but I, I just I just couldn't I just couldn't pass it along so so as you can see there's a lot of sorting to go through and then each and every cake has to be clean by hand. I'm using a um, kneadable eraser to do that. It, it sort of picks up all the dirt and grime uh, from, from the case. Well, the first thing I need to do is, you know, like I said, I have to check whether <laughs> they're salvageable at all. And in the box that I was sorting through, there are actually three different colors. Like, they, they all you look pretty much the same. <laughs> but yeah, actually, there are three colors, so yes. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of sorting through things. This is the set that I... The 12 color set that I think... I'm going to be selling these two are like I said <laughs> two different blues like completely different blues um, yeah so the, yeah this is something that I would like to offer and I am I think I'm going to be offering sets of 12 and sets of well however many there are which is still a little bit unsure like I'm not, I'm not certain how many I've got and yeah here's a little you know swatching process just just a couple of colors really i think i'm going to be adding more videos on this topic as time progresses because oh, it's so it's it's a lot it's overwhelming there's a lot to say about them um i just wanted to share my initial excitement with you guys uh, Oops, <laughs> that's just a little bit too much water. I'm, I'm not really all that well versed with uh, with water brushes, but yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so these are the, the three different uh, shades of blue uh, I'm going to be swatching here in, in just a second. Um, oh my gosh, I don't I don't really know. There's so many thoughts going on th through my head you know right now I've only had these paints for about a week or something and it's been such a huge topic a, a, basically this is a, a life-changing discovery for me because I think right now this is something that I'm going to have to dedicate my life to and honestly I I will do it with with pleasure you know, this is something like 
it 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 feels like something that I was waiting for, honestly, like a, some sort of a a focus, like the world, like the universe, or whatever, is trying to make me focus on just one thing, and and this is the thing, you know, this is the work, and yeah, that's that's big. So these are, I think, all the colors, or most of them. Some of them look very similar to one another, and I'm going to have to decide whether it makes sense to, to list them as two separate colors, really. Um, I really like this, this range. It's, um, it's unique, in a way. Like, look at there's just one yellow <laughs> we've got three actually there's four violets but I'd only become aware of another one after I swatched this and there's just one yellow uh, and there's so little of it uh, I've got I've got hundreds of all of these but yellow is like a hundred and fifty <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm going to have to, you know, create some of that yellow from scratch, you know, just just once once the original ones uh, run out. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's so many things to figure out here. Oh my gosh, like I know this is kind of chaotic. I I don't really know what I'm talking about here. I hope you guys well, maybe you got hooked on it, or maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you have some questions, feel, feel, definitely feel free to, to let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, do, do ask them in the comments, I would be really happy to, to answer anything that I, that I can, like, there's so much mystery here, <laughs> I love it, <laughs> so yeah, thank you, thank you for listening to this, um, pretty emotional one and and um, I hope to be more structured in the future videos um, see you like see you see you soon bye bye